NASA issues warning about object emitting radio signals in space. Earth's largest single dish radio telescopes have detected a fast radio burst that has been flashing and fading in milliseconds. What could these signals be? Stay tuned as we discuss the possible explanations and origins of this mysterious signal and what it could mean. But before we continue any further, I would request you to subscribe to our channel. Subscriptions help grow our channel, and we really appreciate all the support you send our way. Humans have, from the dawn of time, wondered if they were alone. Now, we may have our answer, as scientists have found a single source in space, which is continuously bombarding our radio dishes with thousands of radio signals. Scientists are divided as to what it means. Some say that these radio signals could herald an age of communication with another intelligent extraterrestrial life. Others say that these radio signals are purely natural in origin and do not involve any alien activity. Even the possibility that these radio signals may indicate the presence of life outside the Earth is tantalizing. The FRB or fast radio bursts could be identified with a huge object in space, which could possibly transmit a lot of messages through space. But these FRB signals keep on coming and only last for milliseconds. These FRBs were first discovered by Duncan Lomax in 2007, who was researching space archival data and found this signal buried in the data. The FRB, due to its association with Duncan Lomax, has also been called Lomax Burst. An important feature of these FRBs is dispersion, which is determining the time intervals between each FRB wave. To understand the origin of these FRBs, it is important to know that the space is not entirely filled with vacuum. Instead, it has plasma, which has a soup of charged particles. When light travels through space, it is not traveling through empty space. Rather, it runs into obstacles. One of these obstacles is plasma. Plasma can affect the radio frequency of these waves. Scientists have figured out that the lower frequency radio waves are more affected by plasma than higher frequency radio waves. These higher frequencies reach the Earth before the shorter frequencies, resulting in what scientists have called the dispersion effect. This can tell us a lot about the source. For instance, it can tell us about the distance between the FRB source and our planet Earth. The more dispersion we come across, the more plasma the signal has run into, and resultantly, the further apart is the FRB source. The first of these signals suggested that these signals came from a radio pulsar located near the small Magellanic Cloud, which is a dwarf galaxy near the Milky Way. Ever since then, another burst was discovered by Sarah Burke, which had the same dispersion as the Lomax burst. In 2013, four more Lomax bursts were detected, which had a drastically higher dispersion than the original Lomax burst. The brightest burst emanating in the sequence of FRB suggested an extraterrestrial source of radio emission, at least at first. Scientists in 2014 discovered another source of FRB from another observatory, but its source remains disputed to this day. Researchers have not been able to come up with a unanimous answer so far, but with the development of newer technology, we may have come a step closer to solving this puzzle. In 2019, scientists conducted a deeper analysis into the cosmological archival data, which show that in just over 47 days, the FRB source had produced almost 1,652 flats, which broke the record of registering a huge number of FRB signals detected so far. Now this information was groundbreaking, because now scientists could actually detect any regularity in this chain of events. But any effort on the scientists' part was met with failure, as they were not able to find any pattern link to these FRB signals. Scientists were also clueless about any possible origin of this new FRB signal. Scientists have now begun to entertain the possibility that the flares were a result of multiple mechanisms. To make matters more complicated, these signals are received once, and then they disappear for good. On the whole, scientists were able to collect data spanning more than 59 hours of FRB activity spread over a 47-day period. When scientists dug deeper, they found that the peak rate registered for this FRB activity was 122 bursts in an hour. On the basis of data, scientists were able to categorize energy into higher energy and lower energy spectrums. The lower energy FRBs were more difficult to predict. Some scientists have theorized that these FRBs may have originated from galaxies, which are millions or even billions of light years away. Recently, in China, scientists have stumbled upon another important FRB signal. This FRB signal is different from other signals in the sense that it repeats itself frequently. This FRB has registered 75 bursts in six months. The origin of the signal was located in a dwarf galaxy, which is located about 3 billion light years away from the Milky Way. However, there was something amiss. Data from dispersion showed that the distance 
was about 30 billion light years away, while the actual distance was only 3 billion light years. There was a discrepancy of distance of almost 27 billion light years. This signal is quite the mystery because traditional dispersion effects have not really given us accurate projections. Despite our technological innovations, there is still so much we do not know about. Comment down below about your possible theories of the location of this new FRB. Please hit the like button if you found the video informative. Thank you for watching till the end, and catch you in the next one!